The lesson outcome for this video is, I can graph parabolas with only one x-intercept. And again, we're using the quadratic formula to help us find that x-intercept. So let's go ahead and start this problem as we've been doing um, a lot this unit. We're going to put a 0 in for y. And then we get 0 equals 4x squared. Nothing changes here. Minus 4x plus 1. So we are going to solve for x by using the quadratic formula, which is written off to the right here. I'm also going to continue to recommend that a lot of you probably want to write out your a, b, and c values so that you don't make mistakes when putting them into the quadratic formula. So we need to do x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Again, just putting the b value here and here, the a value here and here, and the c value here. So c is 1, the a value is 4, and I'm sorry, um, yes, it's 4, and then the b value is negative 4. So then we get x equals negative negative 4 is positive 4 plus or minus the square root of, well, negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 4 times 1, which is 16, all over 2 times 4, which is 8. Now we get x equals 4, plus or minus. We will just simplify inside the root. 16 minus 16 is 0, all over 8, which means we get x equals 4, plus or minus nothing, or 0, over 8. Now we can split this up into plus or minus if you like, like we're used to, but you'll notice that when we do that, we get 4 plus 0 divided by 8, and then we get 4 minus 0 divided by 8. Well, 4 plus nothing is 4 over 8, and 4 minus nothing is still 4 over 8. So we get 4 over 8, which is, well, 1 half or 0 0.5. And over here we get again 4 minus nothing is still 4 divided by 8, and we get 0 0.5. Now, what that tells us is that we have 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for our x-intercept when y is 0. And we do not list it twice. That's a mistake that some people make. They put another 0 here and another 0 0.5 here. Well, that's the exact same point. It's 0 0.5 comma 0, which is right here. Having that listed twice in our table doesn't do anything for us. So I'm going to go ahead and put that point at 0 0.5 comma 0. That's our x-intercept at point 5. So here is the issue. The issue is if we only have one x-intercept, that's our x-intercept there, and what we usually do to find our vertex is add the two x-intercepts and divide by 2. Well, we can't do that. We can't add this x-intercept with another x-intercept if another x-intercept does not exist. So the problem is now we don't know how this parabola is going to open. Uh, is it going to open up like this? Is it going to open down? Is it going to be a wider parabola? We don't know, but we do know that if there's only one x-intercept, it must be our vertex. So this is our x-intercept and our vertex, okay? So we need to get two other points. That's the deal. We need to find now two other points so that we can plot them on the graph, on the coordinate plane, and find out the shape of our parabola. What we recommend, <clears throat> what I recommend, is that you just choose one x-value to the right of your vertex and one x-value to the left of your vertex. So right now, our um, vertex is at 0.5, so we can pick any value over here for x and one value over here for x and just plot those points, and then we will be able to graph the shape of our parabola. So maybe, um, maybe you could just go to just one over to the right and plug in a 1 right here for x, and then plug in just a value, a whole number to the left, which would be 0, um, and find out what those y values would be. Now again, I could have picked any x value to the right and any x value to the left, but I chose 1 and 0. 
To do this, remember, we are going to, I'll just make a little space here, we are just going to simply plug that x value in to the original equation for x in both locations. Oop, I started with 0. All right, I guess I'm doing the second one first. Do you guys see this? Okay, I'm going to do this one right here because I started by writing a 0 in for x. So I'm doing this one right now. All right, so we get y equals, well, this is a pretty simple one. 0 squared is 0 because order of operations, right? 0 times itself is 0, times 4 is 0, and 4 times 0 here is 0. So it's 0 minus 0 plus 1, which is going to be 1. So our y value is 1 when x is 0. So I'll plot that. 0 for x and 1 for y is this point right here. Now I'll plug in a 1. Sorry, again, that's kind of just backwards a little bit, but that's okay. We'll put a 1 in here, squared, and a 1 in here. And again, we're going to go through and simplify this. So 1 squared is 1. 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4 times 1 is 4, so 4 minus 4 is 0 plus 1. So that's 1 as well. Now why are they both 1? We're going to talk about that in a sec. So 1 for x and 1 for y is this point right here. Now because I chose a value of x 0 and the other value of x as 1, they're both a half a unit away from our vertex. So they're an equal distance from the vertex, which means their y values will be the same in order for us to get a symmetric parabola as we know we will. So we have to go up and through like so, and up and through like so. I kind of missed there, but it's hard on an iPad. There we go. And there is our parabola. So again, you're going to do the same thing as usual. Use the quadratic formula to find your x-intercepts. In this case, there's only one x-intercept. When your x-intercept is also your vertex, you simply choose an x value that you want to put in for x and find its corresponding y, and then pick another x value you want to use and find its corresponding value for y, and then graph your parabola. It actually doesn't matter at all what x values you choose. It's any values you want. I just typically will pick one to the right and one to the left.